Hello children, I am Rama Devi from JPHS Ramapuram, Surapet district. I am working as School Assistant English. Today I am your English teacher. I am very happy to meet you all in this YouTube channel. Now, let me ask you one question. How are you all? Of course. Yes, who asked you the question? Who wishes your well-being only can ask this question? Maybe your friends, your neighbors or your close relatives. They only wish your well-being so they ask you the question, how are you? Okay, let me ask you another question. Where do you spend most of your time in a day? Of course, you may be saying like this. In front of a TV or a mobile in your hand. Browsing something from that, of course, may be good or may not be. Dear children, what I need to ask you is, before this pandemic, where were you spending most of your time in a day? Of course, at schools. Do you like your school days? Are you missing any fun after this corona happenings and all the pandemic all over around you? Yes, we do miss you a lot. There's a lot of fun with friends. With whom do you spend there? Yes, you want to spend most of your time with your friends. And who others are there in your school to love you and to be loved? Yes, they are real heroes, your teachers. Do you feel so? Yes, everyone has their own teacher and his own influence on them behind their education. Dear children, is there any incident that you do not like to go to school? Is there any instance in your life, especially in your school life, that makes you feel very sad? Like Swami felt in our last lesson. Swami is expelled from school. Have you remembered that? Do you like the teacher and do you like the way, the treatment that has given by the headmaster? Do you like it? And how about Swami's behavior? Do you like the Swami's mischievous behavior? Children of your age may be liking that character. You want to behave in the same way how Swami behaves. Right, now let me ask you one more question. Are there any guesses about the lesson we are dealing with today? Yes. Unit 3, The School Life. Reading A is Swami is expelled from school and B reading is not just a teacher but a friend. On the contrary to the lesson, Swami is expelled from school. Today we have the poem, very beautiful but simple the most intelligent poem, most intelligent poet, but anonymous. His whereabouts are not disclosed for us. To maintain uh, the authenticity of the poem, wherever you go, you can find a teacher and a student under the sun. To maintain the same thing, the same authenticity, poet's name is not disclosed for our convenience. So, the reader can make the poem his own immediately and spontaneously. Swami is expelled from school. That is the extract from the Malguri days which is written by Aki Narayan, the famous Indian English writer. The situation, Swami received some sort of punishment in his school and he wanted to quit the school. All these are suitable situations for the then society before independence. But now, my dear children, you know very well, all the situations are changed. Now, what's our society? Both the teacher and student became somewhat intimate. Do you agree with me? How do you behave with your teachers and how do they behave with you? Vice versa. Do you like your teachers? Who is your favorite teacher? Are you receiving some sort of punishments which Swami received on the day? No, because I know you are all very good children and your teachers. That means we are not like that at all. 
we are very friendly with you. Once upon a time, one poet wrote, Peter Dixon. The poet name is Peter Dixon. He wrote one poem. What's that? Have you remembered? In your lower classes, you already come across the poem. Where do teachers go? Where do teachers go after 4 p.m.? One boy was very much interested to know about his teachers, especially in those days, teachers are worshipped as their heroes, as their gods and goddesses. Do you believe? Poem Peter Dixon, the poet Peter Dixon depicted the student's interest very interestingly. Oh, he surprised how teachers spend their time after going to their houses. Do they live in the normal houses like we do? Do they wear the same pants, same night dresses like us? So there is an extravagance in the behavior of the student. He thinks his teacher is a supernatural being. He is just next to God. So that the, all the changes are occurring by over a period of time. Before the independence, there was a very strict schooling where students are not at all interested to go. There was so much strict punishment by the teachers. Very disciplined schools. Later on, the teacher's role was changed as moved to the position of a god. Students were worshipping and students were learning in that same way with the devotion and adoration towards their teachers. Later on, slowly, the role of the teacher has changed to a friend next to him. The student feels his teacher as a friend. Now children, I hope you are also feeling the same. You have the same emotions get connected with your teachers. Do you? If so, this is your homework. You have to write about your favorite teacher at least 5 to 10 lines. Why do you like your teacher? What qualities that endear you to your teacher? What qualities you do not like in your teacher? Of course, that too you can feel free to write. Children, let me summarize the poem for you. In a nutshell, as I told you before, this poem, not just a teacher but a friend, is built on a very simple but beautiful theme. We can immediately get connected with this poem because in everyone's life there is a teacher. Isn't it? Yes, we can find a teacher and a student. It's a very common phenomenon. Under the sun, wherever you go, we can find a teacher and a student and the relationship maintained by those. Now, this poem has a special magical quality to endear and to redefine your teachers and to reconnect with our teachers. Of course, how old you may be, every, the reader may be. He can get connected with his teachers. It is written from the student's voice. Everyone who reads this poem can feel that as if it is exuding from his own voice. It is expressing own thoughts. That is why this quality immediately make you be friend with this poem. And this poem expresses his gratitude and friendliness towards his teacher. How kind his teacher, how concerned his teacher is for him. That is the main theme of the poem. In various times, various difficult times, how his teacher extended his helping hand. That is what the main theme of this poem. When the child entered the school, with lots of weight on his head, with stresses all tensions. No one was there, no familiar face was there to welcome him. At that time, at that irritated moment, one teacher came to him to hug and extend a warm welcome. 
Why? Entering into the school, the boy felt very relaxed as he got one teacher as his best friend. The guiding teacher is his friend. Then imagine how his study time passed, how his school days passed. That's really awesome, fantastic. If you get such sort of teachers in your school, in your life, then your life will be a song. A, it's a cakewalk for you to go to reach any height. When he was grappled by all the sadness, the teacher was there to wipe his tears and to hug him and to extend his warm hand. So that is the fortunate life of the student to get such a blessing from his own teacher. When his hopes are dampened by difficult times, the teacher is there. The teacher is there to help. Uh, with his soothing words, soothing words are enough for the student to make his life bright again. So that is the relationship maintained by the student towards his teacher. Here the student felt very possessive of his teacher. When the teacher was in work or involved in something else, the student was waiting for the small simple question or maybe a smile of his teacher. If his teacher asked him, how are you in that busy schedule, he felt very happy. The student felt very happy. Even though he was not okay, he tends to say, I'm okay. Because the word of the teacher or the smile of the teacher, he felt it as a shot of medicine dose. Dose of your medicine. You know children, here shot means not shooting by the gun or shooting with an arrow. It's the shot of a dose, a medicinal dose. That boosts his, that energizes his all qualities, his all optimism. Whenever the teacher goes, he looks in that way to see him next. When do I see him, see my teacher next? That is what the only hope, with that only hope he comes to school. That is the relationship maintained by the student. And the student sometimes felt very much pride of uh, the relationship. It would go away, it would fade away when he moves to the next grade. But he was wrong. His teacher was always there for him to wipe his tears, to embrace him and to boost his strengths and to find his weaknesses and to strengthen his strengths. That is what the quality of a good teacher and the student must be in the same position to receive such sort of grace from his teacher. If you are obedient and you are very much understandable by, the, by your teacher, then he or she definitely can draw all the skills, all the hidden talents from the students. So student must be in that position to receive that sort of grace and blessing from his teacher. Okay, shall we go to the original poem now? Here we go. Well, my dear children, as you have seen on the slide, not just a teacher but a friend. This is the title of our poem. As we have already discussed that teacher's role is assigned to a friend. Do you have any such teachers in your life too? Okay then, let me know in the next class. Let's go to the poem. Students, objectives of this poem are After the completion of the poem, you will be able to understand the theme and sub-themes of the poem and you will be able to enjoy the poem. Recite the poem and understand meanings and answer the given questions. At the same time, you will be able to construct a discourse that is choreography on your own. You will be able to add lines or you can write a new poem on your own or add lines to any given poem, I am sure. Okay, let's get started. Now see the lines of the first stanza. I had no way to turn, had no way to go. This is just something you need to know. I don't know what made me trust you. 
I still remember the day when I told you what I have been through. I thought I should run away, go hide in a hole, but then you really brought out my true soul. Here the student expresses his distress. He had no way to turn. No one was familiar to him. He was being bullied by all the students, all other people. Then when he was in a difficult time then he turned towards his teacher his teacher turned towards him the student wants his teacher to know all these facts how he felt on that very moment when the teacher came forward to help him he wanted to tell all these things to his teacher how a difficult time he has faced and how the teacher brought out this student to his true soul true soul means here students he the teacher has identified all the potential in the student and he drawn out all the skills out of the student i don't know what made me trust you i still remember the day when i told you what i have been through when the student told all the difficulties to his teacher then the teacher started consoling the student with his soothing words i thought i should run away go hide in a hole but then you really brought out my true soul when the student was in utter difficult time the teacher helped him to bring him out Have you ever felt in such a manner the student felt? Yes, of course. In any human life, there are mixed feelings, mixed emotions. Sometimes we feel very happy. Sometimes we feel very sad due to some circumstances. Of course, maybe family problems. And as teenager, you may feel so many. From that distress, uh, the only person who helped him to come out is his teacher. so he is showing his gratitude towards his teacher do you if you have any such problems or if you have any such relation with your teacher you can pen down my dear children let's begin the stanza 2 as each day grew longer our trust became stronger each time i wanted to cry you stayed there right by my side then i moved to the next grade boy was i afraid that our trust would slowly fade but i was wrong we are still strong even though sometimes you don't have time if you at least ask me if i'm fine as student as a little boy he was feeling that his teacher may forget him after he moves to the next grade each day grew longer our trust became stronger you know longer and stronger these are the rhyming words which make us feel very comfortable to read and memorize for a longer time days grew longer means the time has passed but their trust became stronger see children some relations would fade away with the time if you meet any friend in your in a bus or any uh, other unfamiliar situation for a short period you can remember them later on when your your stop comes and you get down the bus then you may forget them after some time but here the relationship between the student and a teacher is like a parents and their kids that is maintained a stronger with the time span each time i wanted to cry you stayed there by right by my side whenever the student felt like crying he was in anger or a somewhat depression the teacher was right there by his side then i moved to the next grade boy was i afraid the doubt trust would slowly fade slowly the relation may fade that is what the fear inside the boy but in contrary the teacher became the teacher's relationship became stronger with this boy 
that our trust would slowly fade but i was wrong we are still strong on the contrary on the other hand the student and teacher's relationship became very stronger even though sometimes you don't have time if you at least ask me if i am fine teacher as teacher he has to look after so many children school full of children are there for him not only the, this student so with them with his own problems if he is busy with some official work this boy felt like as if my teacher forgot me my teacher has forsaken me but at that moment if the teacher raises his head and if he asks the only single question how are you my dear child then that's enough for the child to get energized gain to boost his own energies even though sometimes i'm not i feel like i have just been shocked i smile and say as yes, i'm all right then i walk away and you are out of my sight i will just have to wait i still have my fate i'm so glad that you were there when i am sad and this is what makes you not just my ninth grade teacher but my friend even though sometimes i am not when the teacher asked the child how are you my child this is the only question that made uh, the end of the long wait for this boy when uh, he feels very happy when the teacher asks him how are you just the question that made him very happy even though the boy was not okay he immediately replies like this Yes I'm all right. <coughs> Then I walk away and you are out of sight. When the teacher is out of sight. Out of sight means children after school where would they go? Teachers also leave the school. When the this favorite teacher leaves the school, goes out of sight to the child, then he will wait till the moment he can see his teacher again. i still have my fate see how uh, what type of reverence and love and affection and adoration this boy has for his teacher have you observed children the boy he is uh, waiting for his teacher to see him again i will just have to wait i still have my fate I- i'll be very lucky enough if i see you again that is what the uh feelings and the emotions with that teacher i'm so glad that you were there when i'm sad and this is what makes you not just my teacher but my friend the boy is expressing his gratitude and wishing and hoping for the helping hand of his teacher whenever i feel sad my teacher is there to console me to guide me so he is a guide and philosopher to throughout my life that is the feeling inside the boy you are not just my ninth grade teacher but you are my friend for the whole life children read the poem on your own and once again you try to understand the theme stanza wise because uh, there's no difficult word or any uh, unusual rhyme scheme in this poem or unusual cuts in the poem so you can understand this very easily and you can get connected with it but uh, as i told you earlier it's very easy to understand because in everyone's life there is a favorite teacher even in my life you know i have a favorite teacher do you know who he is he is none other than my english teacher are you interested to know about the story successful story of mine and the teacher who is there behind all this success yes i was just a 10th class student my journey started right from there to the passionate english teacher now I got married when I passed out just 10th class but after 10 years of my marital life 
I enjoyed it a lot. And then I started thinking of the words which were deeply rooted in my mind. Uh, the uh, words sown by my English teacher, they have a lot of impact in my mind. So I started the BA English Literature. Why I took English, you know, children? Those are the magical words sown by my teacher, I have already told you. English is the window of the world. English is the window of the world. English is the window of the world. If you close the window, you cannot see anything. You will be in the darkness. If you open that only single window of English, you can peep through that and you can see the vast world. That is what uh, the magic worked out on me. I was inspired a lot by my teacher and started my journey of studying. Of course, I reopened all my books and direct uh, BA I started, BA English Literature and then PG and then BA, the course which has helped to join me in this sector and now I am here before you. So all this success story, only the impact of my teacher and the two a long back. Whatever it may be, the seeds that sown by your teachers uh, have long lasted impact on you. So try to get grace from your teachers, get blessings from your teachers so that they help your teachers to draw all the skills hidden inside you. That is a powerful mantra. Be obedient to your teachers and be in a disciplined way. That leads your successful journey too. Believe me, all the very best, my dear children. Thank you.